normal and rare card decks tend to be control decks, but have you seen an OTK deck that only uses normal and rare cards? This deck tributes off your opponent's problematic monsters, spams the board with tokens, and then beats your opponent in one turn with those tokens. Later in the video you can find a replay of this deck in action that I recorded against a meta deck in Plat 1. Now the deck profile. We are playing 3 Battle Fader to stay alive longer, we are playing 3 Card Cardi to draw into our combo cards, then we are playing 2 different versions of a Kaiju, we are playing 3 Thunder King the Lightning Strike Kaiju, and 3 Jizukiru the Star Destroying Kaiju, and 3 Zafion the Time Lord. Zafion is great spell trap removal because he shuffles at the end of the battle phase all spells and traps that your opponent controls back into the deck. With the Kaijus, we can either take control of them with Owner's Seal and just use them ourselves after tributing off an opponent's monster, or we can use Leeching the Light. Uh, this selects one light monster that my opponent controls, and then all my attack position monsters gain attack equal to the attack of the monster that my opponent has. Um, the main thing you want to do with this is you activate Super Hippo Carnival after giving your opponent a Kaiju, and then you can summon Perform Appell Hip Hippo from your deck, hand or graveyard, and four other tokens. Then you use Leeching the Light, target the Kaiju you gave to you gave your opponent, and then the Hippo Hip Hippo can gain up to 3,300 attack, and will be really big. All the other four tokens will be on 3,300 3, attack as well. To get rid of our opponent's spells and traps, we're playing three Mystical Space Typhoon. This is good against the Paleo matchup if you play normal and rare only, and three Book of Moon. Um, Hip Hippo Carnival is not as good as Super Hippo Carnival because it only summons three tokens, but it's still really good. Vaboku is great as well because this uh, makes our monsters unable to be destroyed by battles, so we can keep our tokens and we take no battle damage. So this is prevents us from being beaten ourselves. And we are playing three compulsory evacuation device. Uh, this is just there to maybe bounce a kaiju. We can technically kaiju one of our opponent's monsters, use compulse on it, kaiju an another monster, and then use compulse again and kaiju another monster. <laughs> so this can make a kaiju into a really good piece of removal. Um, then in the extra deck we are only playing a small 7 cents package because technically we can normal summon Zephyr the Time Lord without tributing and then we can give our opponent a Jizukiru and take control of it with Owner Seal. Then we could make a rank 10 and rank that one up in Pain Gainer and then eventually into 7 cents. It's probably not gonna happen, I have to be honest. You don't need the cards in the extra deck. And if you want to play them, one of each is more than enough. Uh, yeah, this deck is really nice. I was um, kind of shocked that I saw that this deck is legal. <laughs> it's not... I'll say it like this, it's not as good as Magic Spectres because it only... It can only do one thing. It can only try to one-shot OTK your opponent. And sometimes it, it really struggles if your opponent doesn't summon any monsters because you need to... You need to kaiju the monsters or you need to... Uh, you cannot take kaijus back if they have monsters and you cannot leeching the light their monsters if they don't have any monsters as well. You can pretty much beat this deck just by not summoning anything, <laughs> but don't tell that to anyone. <laughs> yeah. Now, the replay.